Okay, um, I'm back again, cycle day 16. I got batteries into the advanced monitor and I am going to um, test really quick in it because I've almost missed my testing window. in my pen. Let's see it says test day. I'll get that just in the nick of time as I only had one minute left. Okay, the test stick that I dipped earlier um, now looks like that, where I'm pretty sure that you guys can see that LH line there on the inside. Um, the other monitor, it's test stick. look like that. Now that the Wanfo that I did had time to develop, um, I think that you guys will be able to see how dark that it actually is now that I've played with the camera a little bit. Um, it's pretty dark so I actually think that fertility friend may be wrong and that I'm either fixing to get a peak on this advanced monitor or I will be getting a peak tomorrow indicating that I will ovulate on cycle day 18 and not cycle day 12 like what fertility friend has um, said But we will see. I am still have three minutes left on the fertility monitor. So I'm a little bit confused about this cycle right now at this moment. Because um, my LH strips were winding down. So it did look a little bit like I might have actually ovulated on cycle day 12. But then when I tested today and they were dark again, um, and the sticks for the monitor, the LH lines on those have gotten darker as well. That's what's making me think that Fertility Friend may be wrong. In which it didn't put up solid crosshairs, so um, Fertility Friend itself um, also, you know, whenever it just puts up the dotted crosshairs, that means that it's not really sure because there's conflicting information. That it does see a temperature shift, but that secondary fertility signs are kind of throwing it off. So, um, and that was my reason between behind not really thinking that I had actually ovulated yet. Um, so, we will see what these monitors have to say over the next two or three days. Uh, if they go back down to lows, then yes, I did ovulate on cycle day 12. But if I actually do get a peak, then I'm still waiting to ovulate. So, um, I'm going to continue uh, baby dancing as if I'm still fertile. Um, because all of my secondary fertility signs are still pointing towards fertile and since I didn't get solid crosshairs on fertility friend um, I'm just gonna kind of keep going as if that didn't happen um, so it's a 
little bit confusing right now, but um, I guess for me personally, whenever I'm in doubt, I would rather err on the side of caution and continue acting as though I'm fertile um, instead of just assuming that I'm not fertile and missing an entire cycle because I assumed otherwise. Um, so, um, I'm going to try to, um, be really consistent with my temperatures over the next few days, um, and see what that does to Fertility Friend, and, um, I played around with it a little bit, and if I put a hot, if I put a positive Wanfo in today, or a peak today, then it took the crosshairs away, so, um, we're still kind of in limbo, but Fertility Friend is just kind of warning me that I might have actually ovulated on cycle day 12, so we will see, um, what happens with that. If I did ovulate on cycle day 12, then we had really good, um, you know, baby dancing time, but if I didn't, then we still have time to get that perfect window. Um, fertility test complete. Remove the stick. And this one is still reading a high. Which I'm actually a little bit surprised that it read a high today because they are about the same um, in darkness and normally um, whenever the two lines are about the same that's when it gives you a peak so um, maybe tomorrow. If it peaks tomorrow, then I would be ovulating on cycle day 18. Um, so, um, since these LH lines are getting darker and my WANFOs are getting darker, I'm still going to continue on as if I haven't ovulated, just to err on the side of caution and um, continue with everything else that I've been doing. Um, so far so good and um, even ovulating on cycle day 18 um, is still really great for me and um, you know maybe I needed those extra you know three days to three to four days to get a nice really healthy egg to come out and um, get a big fat positive this cycle. So I'm still really excited. Um, Fertility Friend had me a little bit confused this morning, but I actually think Fertility Friend is wrong, and then I'm going to be seeing a peak um, probably tomorrow. Um, so I thank you again, ladies, for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind liking and subscribing down below, it really helps me out a lot. Um, as I'm trying to get this channel kind of up off the ground and um, going somewhere with it. Um, so if you find these videos uh, entertaining, informative, uh, you know, or you just like watching them, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I will be back with more videos um, probably later on today um, on some other topics. I've been wanting to do a video about just kind of the background of our fertility journey this time. Uh, and a little bit about um, our fertility journey the first time around so that you guys um, had, you know, our background story as to everything that has happened and that um, has gotten us to where we are now and why I am taking such a um, affirmative approach to our fertility right now. So um, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day 
and I will see you again soon, ladies. Bye.